all men get to this age. Now, I don't know if women ever get to this age. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, of course, you're not there. You're not there. I can't tell if you're there. You're there. And this guy, you've been there for a while. Now, what age am I talking about? I'm at the age I'm starting to make noises when I don't want to make noises. If I do any kind of work around the house, I make two noises. One noise when I do the work, and then another noise is about a second later. And it sounds like I'm thinking about the work that I just did. Now, I'll show you, and you'll get it. Watch this. Okay, you ready for this? Here we go. Ah. Ah. <sighs> Everyone get it? We all on board? That's the whole joke right there. Everything, two noises. I move a lamp on my house, a little floor lamp. Ah. 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 noises doing almost nothing. Sitting down. I come home at the end of the day. I sit in my chair at the end of the day. Ah. Woo. Woo. Have you ever sat down, made a noise, and had people concerned for your well-being after you make the noise? Woo. Are you okay? Are you all right? I'm fine. Thank you very much. I got my butt all the way back. Thank you. You know, I won't tell you how old I am. You know, it's actually bad luck in show business to reveal your age to an audience. But I'll tell you this. I recently purchased a bed. And the bed came with a 20-year warranty. And as I paid for it, I'm thinking to myself, this is my deathbed. <laughs> so I'm getting a pillow top. I deserve it. I make noises doing almost nothing, adjusting the thermostat in the living room. Now, how much work is a thermostat? A dial, it's on the wall, a little dial. Sounds like I'm dragging a piano across the room. Man, I love doing jokes, and I do my thermostat bit, and you laugh. Because that means you know what a thermostat is. It's like, these are my people. I'll do that joke in Manhattan and get no response. Because they all live in apartments with radiators. They don't know what a thermostat is. I've had to explain to audiences like in, in Manhattan what thermostats were like they were children. Like there were little children gathered at my feet. All right, all right, listen up, listen up. No, 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 scoot forward, story time. Outside of cities, they live in houses. Yes, they do, they really do. Inside their houses, they have a choice as to what the temperature's going to be. It's like science fiction. Because if you've ever lived in an apartment with a radiator, not a lot of minute temperature adjustments of radiators. Radiators are on or off. In the winter, you can either comfortably hang raw meats in the living room, or you're running into your hallway on fire. The only way to adjust the temperature in a part where the radiator is? Window. Open the window. We have a landlord here, ladies and gentlemen. They open the window. They raise and lower the window to adjust the amount of the Arctic air mass they're going to let in. Honey, it's getting toasty. Time for a nor'easter. It's kind of funny, it's kind of funny. I hope it is. I'm in a friend's apartment. I'm in a friend's apartment. He's adjusting the temperature with the window, see? So as a joke, I take a magic marker, and on the edge of the window, I just wrote in 78, 76, 74. That's funny, right? That's funny. I call that a Brooklyn thermostat. That's a Brooklyn thermostat. When I work up in Canada, uh, I have to adjust that joke because they're on the Celsius scale. You know, because uh, Canadians are very, you know, Canadians are very earnest. They're good people, but they take what you say literally. Right? I'm up there, I'm going 78, 76. Canadian guy stands up. You're going to kill him. That's too hot. <laughs> Doesn't he know you'll burn him up there and burn out? What, what kind of a 
mad are you? <laughs> I love Canada. My only problem with Canada is their coins. Canadian coins come down and live amongst us. <laughs> I don't know about you folks, if I get a Canadian quarter in my change, my day is shot. Because for the rest of the day, it's like I'm a kid, I'm playing tag, and I'm it, because I'm trying to give it to somebody else. <laughs> Sometimes you get a Canadian quarter, and you don't know you got it. So it goes in your pocket. You won't see it all day. You're going to buy something. You reach in your pocket for what you think is a regular quarter, see? and you get this other thing, and, and they're deceptive. <laughs> same size and the same weight, but they have a different picture. In your mind, they'll try and justify it. Oh my gosh, I just noticed, apparently, George Washington was a transvestite. <laughs> my father, my dad, my dad used to make the same noise when he'd adjust the thermostat in our house, only then he'd look over his shoulder at me. My dad used to go, he'd go, uh-huh, uh-huh. They look over at me. Uh -huh. <laughs> they go back to that thermostat. I think he thought I was somehow hooked up to the thermostat. And if they got the temperature right, I'd become the son he wanted. Uh -huh. There you go. That should do it right there. No, that ain't going to do it. <laughs> Local man robs Wendy's with alligator. We're the alligator boys now. And the lady that they sent them to the bank should be going, Mom, Mom, 